Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm Nev from Nev's Tech Bits. Today, I want to be going over the TP-Link AX set. We got the AX 1500, 1800, and 3000. Uh, I, I've reviewed these one at a time, so now I think it's time to combine the information that I know and tell you basically which is the better, what you want for what kind of situation based on your living condition and the range that you may have within your house or within uh, the great outdoors. Before we get too far into this, I should definitely mention that none of these units mesh. Now, if you get the new D-Link lineup, all of those routers will mesh, and I have them all meshing right now. Not everybody needs a mesh, but if you got a two-story building and your uh, internet hub is in the back basement of it, you're definitely going to want something with a mesh. However, if you can't afford a mesh, you can always go with a range extender, and those aren't so bad. All right, so first off, let's take a look at the AX 1500 unit. This one was the first one that I reviewed, and I was definitely happy with the results from it. Uh, let's take a look at those results. Now, I really love the packaging to all these units. Very nice, very uh, recyclable. Here we can see that it put itself in a relatively stable location within the 5G and the 2.4G. I mean, it could have done slightly better. It looks like there's some interference on channel 3 there, but it could be a whole lot worse. Now, earlier on, I would use my Xbox in these test videos to uh, test the maximum download speed, and I can generally get better than this these days, but you can see the maximum download speed I was getting with the internet was 153.96 uh, uh, six, six megabits, and that's fine. That's great. This unit wirelessly actually gave me a better connection to the Xbox network than my hardwired connection, so yeah, I definitely got to troubleshoot that, but not so bad, not so bad. So I would go on to do a teardown of this unit, and uh, it was interesting to find out Broadcom chips within the inside of it. Now on the inside of the 3000 unit, they have Intel. And uh, yeah, I gotta say this is a good system. I was getting 15 megabytes download from the server. That was when everything was on Wi-Fi and that's when the server and my computer were all connected with Wi-Fi 5 cards. So that's 15 megabytes download maximum from the server. So she tests reasonably fine and the range tests reasonably well too. So next off, let's take a look at the next one. The AX1800, this is the next unit that I got, the next unit that I would review. And uh, it also has a Broadcom chip within the inside of it. It also uses the same apps as the original. Once again, we have no, uh, we have no mesh networking together. So unfortunately, I could definitely get a signal upstairs in the second uh, floor on the opposite side of my apartment as this unit is, if they would mesh. But as it is, none of these units will make it that far. I had to get the D-Link mesh to do that kind of stuff. But still, these things are powerful. Let's get into this one and. Uh, uh, give it a benchmark now. This unit also utilized the maximum of my internet speed. This is my internet speed, but not necessarily the fastest speed that I can get internally within the network. It's a tradition though, every YouTuber reviewing wireless things always has to show off their internet speed. Now this unit is capable of 1.2 gigabits per second. That's what it says right here. But I'm telling you guys, I couldn't get any more than 15 megabytes a second transferring uh, wireless to wireless from my server. Now if I plugged my server in, I could get a lot more than that. And the moral of that story is definitely, you're gonna want your server to be hardwired. Now this TP-Link unit definitely seemed to negotiate the channels a little more disagreeably than the other ones. You see here it uh, is, is interfering with your fault and the RS unit. That's unfortunate. You want these arcs to be within each other and not canceling each other out. The more arcs you have, the more channels you have, the more channels you have, the faster things get, except for when you get up into the higher channels. And in that case, uh, some, some things won't use the higher channels. Now, within the 5G, it found itself a nice spot, not interfering, but has anyone ever seen any network interfering with any other network in the 5G band? Seriously, leave, leave a comment. Next up, I thought I'd do a Wi-Fi test. Now, I got line of sight, plate glass windows up there. In the window, I have 
about three units. So I'm gonna go as far back as I can and see when it cuts out. So here I'm out back. I'm about at the location that AC will pretty much cut out. And uh, as you can see, I'm pretty far back. That's about as far as uh, AC will work on line of sight. Still not too bad. I can't imagine uh, needing any more space, seriously. So both the 1500 and the 1800 cut out about here. Now some people say these things run hot. I don't think they run particularly all that hot. Um, I think it's uh, pretty typical. It should also be said that the TP-Link units, all of them use the same Tether app. I definitely recommend you check it out. You get into it and then you can do all your options from your cell phone, which is really nice. The network transfer speed is marginally better than the AX1500 at best. It's really not that big a difference though. It goes up to 20 megabytes, 5 megs more. Of course it should be said that all of these units have gigabit ethernet, meaning if you wire them up you're going to get a better speed. And if you wire up what you're connecting to, you're definitely going to get a higher speed. Like, like look at this, that is so much better than just wireless to wireless. Once again, always make sure that your server is hardwired in, you won't regret it. Now AX is faster than hardwired D-Link fast, so 10 slash 100, that's how many megabits and this is a business switch, but this thing's not gigabit. Gigabit's good. You want gigabit, it's better to have AX than it is to have fast. Next up, the AX3000, just so powerful, not even the kernel can stand it. Anyways, definitely the most powerful. I believe we don't have a Broadcom in here. The Broadcom has been replaced with an Intel chip. This thing is definitely more powerful. It reaches out a little bit further, but once again, I still can't get a signal uh, upstairs to the opposite side of the place. Anyways, of course we have the beautiful recyclable packaging. I gotta love it. I gotta say, all of these units look exactly the same on the outside unless you check the back. See what I mean? They look almost exactly the same until you check out the back. Anywho, this one's Router McRouter face, and you can see it's taken so many bands and it's out for itself. Definitely conflicting with the other three in the 4 to 8 area. This unit basically has the fastest wireless transfer available to me. I can transfer at about 35 megabytes a second from my Alexandrian system on my left to my workstation on the right. It's great power, it's a great unit. The only reason I'm not using this thing right now is because it doesn't mesh. So yeah, all of these units are good, but if the price is the same, then I definitely would recommend getting the AX3000. I heard some complaints about it before, but I'm wondering if that was just an earlier build version. Now, I'm still finding overall that AX is generally not all that much faster than AC at this particular moment. But then again, AX is in its infancy. AX, uh, AXE is still coming out. I believe it's E, maybe it's A, is coming out, and that's supposed to be even faster but still the the difference between AC and AX is not as crazy as the difference between N and AC was it should also be said that this unit hardwired to wireless AX can get up to 80 megabytes a second and that's perfect for most people's uses so overall this would be the one that I would get but maybe I would go with D-Link because of the meshing however if you just needed something for your place for for a large apartment, perhaps if you have your unit right in the middle of your entire apartment, this would be pretty good. You could definitely get by with something like this. Anyways, folks, that's it from me, Nev from Nev's Tech Bits. Like and subscribe if you like this stuff. It's always appreciated. As always, folks, take care of each other, will you?